Hey everyone, this is Salman for WPMU Dev, your all-in-one WordPress platform. Today, I'll be showing you how to reset your WordPress site. And that's not all. I'll also be showing you how to reset your WordPress multi-site installation. Whether you want to test various themes and plugins quickly, or you just want to wipe the slate clean and start over, resetting your WordPress site is the way to go. Why? Because deleting WordPress, reinstalling it again over and over, it's all such a hassle. Why not just hit the reset button and return it instantly to how it was when you first installed it? Are you ready? Let's go. Let's reset a standalone WordPress site first. I have a site here which I want to reset to its original state, like I just installed WordPress with nothing in it. I want to get rid of all the content, pages, posts, menu, the theme, plugins, everything. To do that, start off by going to your WordPress dashboard, then plugins, and then the plugins add new. Here, search for WP Reset plugin. This is the one. And then click install now and activate it. If you're wondering why I chose this plugin over others, it's the highest rated WordPress reset plugin with the most number of installs. It's well supported by its developer with regular updates. And the best part is that it's completely free. Now, go to WP Reset's dashboard by clicking its menu item under tools. You'll be presented with a warning here saying that resetting will delete all your site's posts, pages, custom post types, comments, media entries, users, and all the default WordPress database tables. However, your media files, plugins, themes, any other uploads, your site settings, the current logged in user, they will all remain as is. You should keep in mind that the media files, though still present on your server, will not show in your media library after the reset. We'll cover how to delete them quickly later. All right, it's now time to hit the reset button. But before we do that, I need to warn you again that this is 100% destructive. It will wipe out your current WordPress site completely and there's nothing you can do to get it back. Unless you've taken a backup of your site. If you haven't, I recommend it highly. You can use Updraft Plus or Snapshot Pro to do the same. Now, let's type in reset and hit the reset WordPress button. Confirm again and 3, 2, 1 and we are done. It's that simple. Your WordPress site is back to its shiny new state now. Brand new, like a morning. But if you look closely, you'll find that all your old WordPress files still remain. Themes, plugins, media files, though you cannot see them here in the dashboard, but it's still there on the server. To help you with performing a clean wipe, WP Reset comes with additional tools in a separate tab. Here, you can delete transients, clean the uploads folder, reset all the theme options, delete all your installed themes and plugins, empty or delete any custom tables, and even delete the .hd access file if you need. Let's delete all the plugins and see how it goes. Well, perfect, an A plus cleanup job. If you want a complete clean wipe, you can run all the options in the tools tab here. Now, what about resetting a WordPress multi-site installation? There's no free plugin which resets a complete WordPress multi-site installation perfectly. So, what can we do now? Well, we have WPMU Dev Hosting to the rescue. When you give WPMU Dev Hosting the go-ahead to convert your standard WordPress installation to a multi-site network, he automatically takes a backup of your complete site. Very smart indeed. You can identify this backup by its type value pre-convert to multi-site. Thanks to this backup, you can reset your WordPress multi-site to how it was before anytime you want. Here, I've created a WordPress multi-site network with a few subsites already set up. Quite neat, but I want to wipe them all and start over. What should I do? Well, 
I recommend you to take a new backup before you restore any old backups just in case you change your mind and want to go back. To reset the WordPress multi-site now, click on the three dots icon on the far right end of the backup listing and then select restore from the drop down menu. And there you go. Your WordPress multi-site is now revived as a single entity. As long as you have the backups ready, you have unlimited lives to play out this game. If you're planning to reset a particular sub-site though, and not the entire multi-site network, you have two options. One, complete reset. Delete the sub-site and create a new one with the same name. This will delete everything, including all the files. The second option is database reset. Use a plugin such as WP Reset to restore your sub-site to its original state. This is just like you do with standalone WordPress installations. All the media files, themes, plugins, etc. will remain. Debugging WordPress is hard, time consuming and often frustrating. It can take hours to find, test and fix even the smallest bugs. Resetting your WordPress installation with just a single click makes your life easier so that you can test and debug various themes and plugins quickly and efficiently. WPMU Dev's fully managed WordPress hosting is made by developers for developers. No bloat or fluff added. Just the tools you need to get your job done without pulling your hair out. If you're still having trouble resetting your site after watching this video, let our experts help you out, big or small. Our awesome support team can help you with any WordPress issue. And for free, we are available 24-7, so you can reach out to us anytime you like. Until then, live, die, reset.